Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. It is Memorial Day in the United States today, so hopefully folks there are taking a break and remembering those in the armed services. The Power BI team was busy this last week. We got a ton of updates that we've got to go through and some community items as well. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Gerhard Bruckel, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, has a blog post where he is looking at how to do top end with others inside of Power BI. I know this is something I've been asked a couple times before. There's some DAX magic that you have to do, but Gerhardt walks through some options that you have in terms of accomplishing this task. Top end in itself is not that difficult. It's pretty easy to do, but getting that other category in there that also allows you to use that from a slicer perspective can take a little bit of work. So he walks you through, he shows you how he did it in his Power BI report and also has a sample Power BI desktop file that you can download to take a look at it as well. So if this is something you've struggled with, if you wanna know how you can actually inject like an other that's outside of the regular top end from a rank perspective, then take a look at this blog post, it'll help you out. Reed Havens has another blog slash video where he's going through one of my favorite features. It's new inside of the latest Power BI desktop release, which is the performance analyzer. And so he walks through how you can use performance analyzer. But the cooler thing I like in this video that he's got is he's got a Power BI desktop file you can download, which will actually look at the results from the performance analyzer. So you can export those results and he's got a report that'll help you break it down. This can be really useful when you're trying to just tackle troubleshooting, whatever you're trying to do in terms of performance for your individual report for the different visuals that are going on. So check out the link to his blog, links down in the description below, along with all the links for the roundup items this week, including some bonus items, so check it out. Power BI report server for May 2019 has been released. So you can download and upgrade your Power BI report server to the latest version, as well as remember there is a separate Power BI desktop that goes along with the release for Power BI report server. And with that, Power BI desktop is trued up to the service Power BI desktop. If you're not familiar with how that works, just remember that we only have like three releases of Power BI report server a year. And so at the time that it releases, it basically is a timestamp of Power BI Desktop at that point in time. The last release was January 2019, so that means it included everything up to the January release of Power BI Desktop from a service perspective. And now that we have the May 2019 release of Power BI Report Server, it is trued up to the May 2019 release for Power BI Desktop for the service. So that means you've got a lot of those features and functionality that has been coming out for the service from January to May. This includes that performance analyzer pane. It includes some of the conditional formatting expression-based items for titles and URLs. It also includes updates for things like the heat map on Bing Maps and a host of other items that are listed in the blog post. So check it out. Make sure you update both the report server and the Power BI Desktop items that you're using for Power BI Report Server so that you can be up to date on the latest and greatest. Again, links down in the description below. There's a blog post out there about custom visuals and how to govern custom visuals in your organization. This blog post goes through and talks about the different tenant level admin settings that are available in the service and also in combination with certified custom visuals and what do you do from an organizational marketplace perspective. There's a host of options that are available for you that allow you to you know, use some custom visuals, maybe not all custom visuals, and so it's worth a read if you are looking at using custom visuals in your organization, but you wanna maintain some control and not necessarily allow just any custom visual available in your organization. So check that out if you are using custom visuals. I'm really excited about this one. There is a new app navigation capability available for the apps that you publish inside of Power BI. Any apps that you've published with the old experience will continue to work but if you go in and use the new experience, when you go to update a published app or you go to publish an app for the first time, on the navigation side, there is a toggle that you can say, yes, I wanna use the new app navigation experience. And this will allow you to create that hierarchy of items 
for app navigation. So this includes grouping items together. You can you know change where they are. You can also add in links off to other items. So just a URL link. So maybe it's a video. You can include a link off to some maybe SharePoint site that you've got or something else that gives instructions for how to do things. There are a host of options with this experience. You can also do theming. Another thing called out in the blog post is if you want to really get that immersive experience, try to align the report theming with the theming that you can do for your app to just make it seem like it's just a consistent app experience. Check out the blog post for the full details. Also, there's a link to the documentation as well. And I would love to just hear your experience with this and what you think. You can leave that down in the comments below. And I just wanna pass this off to you. So what did you think about this last week's updates? I wanna know down in the comments below as well. Maybe it was something I mentioned, maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.